Okay, so just go ahead and make yourself comfortable for the Reiki new moon meditation, new moon in Capricorn, yeah, and the winter solstice for 2022. So go ahead and close your eyes and settling into your body. Inviting a sense of relaxation throughout your entire being. Softening your hands, your feet, your arms and your legs, your extremities. And relaxing your torso, your internal organ. And softening your throat, and relaxing your jaw. And allowing your tongue to soften and expand, overlapping the edges of your teeth. And allowing your eyeballs to sink into their sockets. Noticing the effects of your breath on your body. The rise of your inhale, the softening, the fall of your exhale. Whether it be in your chest, your belly, take a moment to connect with everyone here today through the power of distance Reiki and the spirit of technology. that allows us to meet wherever and whenever we are in the world. Connect our sacred circle heart to heart, mind to mind, soul to soul and spirit to spirit. In all of our differences, we have the common goal of contributing to the wellness of ourselves all life in existence and we create from this belief. And connecting with the great invocation from the point of light within the mind of God, let life stream forth into our mind. Let life descend on earth. On the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into our heart. May love increase on earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide our will. The purpose which the enlightened one know and serve. From the center which we call humanity. Let the plan of love and light work out. And me seal the door where ignorance dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Let light and love and power restore the planet earth.
Now bring your awareness into your auric field, your personal space. This is part of who you are, but extends beyond your physical body. And on your next inhale, pull your aura close to you. This brings you into the here and the now. Seeing your light becoming more and more concentrated. The core of your being becoming brighter and brighter as you pull your energy close to you. And then now bring your awareness to your feet. Your feet touch the earth and is connected to the energy of stability. Grounding, nourishment, the physicality of all of existence, of all creation. And by the gateway of your feet, your body is filled with the light of this beautiful energy of the earth. The light of Reiki fills the air that you breathe. Your breath fills your body with the light. The divine life force energy of Reiki. This energy enlivens, nourishes, and sustains all living things. The earth herself, the elements within that compro compose of the mineral kingdom, the plant kingdom that grows along the surface of the earth, the divine animal kingdom, all of humanity, and the kingdom of souls. We ask that our unhealed egos and personalities be set to the side to allow the pure light of Reiki and our divine nature to be revealed. And as you breathe in the light, the light within you wakes up. The light within you is revealed. This is the light of your life force, your spirit. Breathe in the power, divine love. The power, the divine mind. The power of the divine heart. Breathe in the power of the divine earth and the light of God, the light of the universe. The beautiful spiritual allies are here. The divine ones of the light. The infinite creative consciousness of the universe. The God of your own understanding, divine father, divine mother. Our brothers and sisters of the light, the ascended master. The archangel, the healing angel. The earth angel the teachers, the ancestors that have come before, and the descendants and all the divine ones named and unnamed. We ask you for your divine assistance, guidance, healing, and empowerment. 
We ask you to shine your light into our light and our breath. We welcome your love. We open our hearts and receive your gift. And you yourself know that you are a unique expression of a kind and loving universe. And say the following words to yourself. The soul mantra, the recognition of your unique expression of divinity. I am the soul. I am the spirit. I am the light divine. I am love, I am will, I am fixed design, the light of the divine is who you are, the core of your being. Your authentic self, your true nature, the light of your wholeness. And now bring your awareness to the top of your head, to your crown. And allow your crown chakra to open the thousand petaled lotus to unfurl. Your crown is a gateway to the heavens. Through your crown, allow your awareness to travel to the stars, the cosmos. And as your awareness travels deep into the cosmos, into space, towards the moon and the sun and the constellation of Capricorn, The energy of the stars are the unlimited possibility, the potential of what is yet to come, the creative driving force behind creation, the unlimited possibilities of the universe. The mysteries and the magic. The sun and the moon are in conjunction in this moment in time, creating the alignment and the energy of the new moon. The magical darkness. The sun is our ego, our physical identity, a louder nature that is easily seen. The moon is our inner world, which is not easily seen and constantly changing as the moon shifts through her phases throughout each phase in the monthly cycle. This is our emotions, our intuition, our instinct. She governs all that is fluid, the water, the tides of the ocean, our bodies, our emotions. As the influences of the constellation of Capricorn shines down on the earth through the power of the new moon, the conjunction of the sun and the moon. Capricorn is a 10th sign of the zodiac cardinal earth. In the Northern Hemisphere, Capricorn is a sign that is solidly in the winter season, 
with the shortest days of light from the sun, the winter solstice, which is today. Capricorn is the father of the zodiac, a sign of boundary, security, adulthood. Physical manifestation through large entities that watch over societies such as government, corporation. It is a sign that is in for the hard work over the long haul, the long-term goal. Capricorn is inspired by Saturn, the furthest planet visible to the naked eye to us on Earth. To the ancient, Saturn is a planet that contains the boundaries of the known universe. For anything beyond that was the unknown boy. Saturn and Capricorn are what maintains the structure, the order, the responsibility of our solar system and our psyche. But there is a magic to the Capricorn energy. For they come into this plane very old. But the more they age, the younger they become. Shown through the symbolism of the journey of the goat, realizing its true nature in the unicorn. Capricorn is represented by a goat who finds his home in the unstable rocky mountainside in the physical earthly plane. At the spiritual level, Capricorn is a unicorn, a creature of myth and fantasy. The goat has two horns, the unicorn one. The single horn of the unicorn is the awakened third eye of vision and spirituality. Capricorn is a hardworking goat transformed into the unicorn. The journey from duality and worldly ambition to a singular vision and deep spirituality. In our journey across the zodiac, in Scorpio, we complete the process of purification so that our outer, higher order of spirituality can descend into the physical plane of manifestation. In Sagittarius, we become the freedom loving archer, aiming our bow and arrow high towards the biggest potential that we can be. And in Capricorn, the journey to our potential becomes reality. In the physical world, through hard work and effort, into the realm that we, our bodies, move through and breathe in. From this point of awareness within the constellation of Capricorn, the sign of hard work, boundary, security, and magic in our everyday reality, pull in the energy of the stars, the mysteries and the magic of the universe and the energies of Capricorn into your physical body through your crown chakra. Each lunar cycle we are reborn 
our spirits are filled with strength, ideas, and powers. A new moon flows into the full moon. And as the full moon ebbs back into the new moon, we are relieved of that power only to begin once more. The power of the new moon lies in her darkness. It is in the shadow, the sacred geometry of the earth, the sun and the moon, creating a perfect alignment. And we have a moment to be still to embrace the potential of what is yet to come for this lunar cycle. We call in the power of new beginning, the power of the magical dark. Pull in the energy of the stars into your crown, the magic of the universe. Pulling in the energy of the constellation of Capricorn into your crown. The energy of the new moon filling your head. Your throat and coming into your heart. Merging and blending with the energy of the earth. And your own personal energy. Capricorn is the bringing of the spiritual realm of the soul into physical manifestation. To bring humanity into the light of the heavens through hard work and order. Transforming the goat into the unicorn. This is also the time of the winter solstice, the shortest day of the year in the Northern Hemisphere, you all. The time of drawing inward to the light within. Look into your life and reflect on this new moon in Capricorn and the winter solstice, the time of Yule. Ask yourself, what is it that you want to create to bring in for this cycle for ambition, for your goals, for your security? What is the spiritual magic that you can bring into your physical reality? What is it that you want to create to manifest in this current cycle, whether it be a day, a season, or a lifetime? And take this time to reflect. Have the awareness that you are the physical manifestation of the light of the heaven and the light of the earth, the uniqueness of you that is influenced by the new moon in Capricorn 
in the winter solstice in this moment in time. Allow the shadow of the moon to nourish you, to comfort you, to guide you to the potential of what is yet to come. Breathing in the power of the moon and the constellation of Capricorn. Breathing in the magic of the winter solstice. Breathing in the light of Reiki. The light within you is revealed. You remember that you are the light of the earth and the light of the heaven. You are in perfect alignment with all life in existence and you create from this belief. And now we will send Reiki and unconditional love to the earth. Bring your hands into Gasha, two hands together at your heart center. And connect with the divine love of Reiki. The vibration of compassion, of unconditional love, of peace. And facing your hand forward, and visualize a small earth in front of you, a small blue green ball floating in space. This is our home, Gaia, Mother Earth. Allow Reiki and unconditional love to go wherever it is wanted, wherever it is needed. And as you're allowing the earth to be infused with love and light, connecting with the prayer of St. Francis of Assisi, a prayer of transmutation. Divine universe, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me so love. Where there is injury, Pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Oh, divine master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And allow the earth to be infused with love and light. And allowing you within the earth to recognize the light within. And then taking a deep breath in and placing your hands on your heart center. And allow yourself to receive the light of Reiki, the power of divine love fills your breath and is revealed at the core of your being. The power of the divine mind fills your breath and is revealed at the core of your consciousness. The power of the divine heart fills your breath 
the hand is revealed in the light of your own heart. The power of the divine earth fills your breath and is revealed in your body. The power of God fills your breath and the power of God is revealed in you. The power of the universe fills your breath and the power of the universe is revealed in you. The power of your Holy Spirit is revealed in you. Look inside and say thank you to you. I appreciate you for who you are and how deeply you love, how deeply you care, and how you create from this belief. We say thank you to each other. We are meant to be here together today with all of our diversity. We have the common goal of contributing to the wellness of our life and existence, the collective of the soul, human, animal, plant, mineral, and the earth herself and the entire universe. And we create from this belief. We show gratitude to the ancestors, your own family lineage, and the collective of the family lineages we all descend from since the dawn of time. You are the evidence of the love of the thousands that have come before. You are the light of the heaven and the light of the earth. You carry the light of the ancestors within you, as well as the spark of the descendant. Together, we say thank you to all of the divine beings, the enlightened ones who joined us, named and unnamed, known and unknown. We thank you for your divine guidance, healing and empowerment. We thank you for your love and your gift. And as you love yourself, you create from that belief. And then placing your hands back in the gasha once more and raising them to your crown with gratitude, flowing to your third eye and with respect. And then lying down to your heart center and with love. In full faith, so be it.